Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Praise the name of the Lord. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And at the same time, I want to welcome you, hallelujah, to the message of hope. I want to remind you and encourage you and let you know that in spite of what is going on around you, in you, with you, against you, hallelujah, there is hope for you. And that hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. All you have to do, turn to him and let him deal with your situation. Let him bring you out of your trials and your testings, give you victory. There is victory, there is hope. Hallelujah, there is peace. There is life in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you reject him, you reject all that is good, all that is life, all that is hope, all that is peace. Amen. So today is a good day to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's there for you. He's there for all of us. He came to seek and to save. Hallelujah. He came not to condemn, but to save. He came not to destroy, but to save. Hallelujah. Eternal life is in him. He that has the son has life. He that does not have the son does not have life. He wants to give you that life today. If you will bow your knees, bow your heart in repentance and ask him to come into your life. Amen. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for today. You know what you have laid on my heart to share. Bless it today, O oh God, to those who are viewing, those who are, are listening, wherever they may be at this time, minister to them, O oh God. Bring them into relationship with you, O oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Okay, I remember last time I was here with you, uh, I, I shared on the comforter, hallelujah. And I said, um, I would like to share some of the names. You know, sometimes we go through the Bible and we see different names, different terms being used. And different terms are used to represent the one and the same person. Amen. Last week we read from uh, John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 16 and 17. And I want to repeat it here for us. Verse 16 says, And I will pray, Jesus speaking, Hallelujah, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Hallelujah, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And verse 26 also went a little further, but the comforter, which is or who is the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Now, the Holy Spirit, where is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is in the world, hallelujah, and he indwells every believer. Those who were born again, those who are born again. At the new birth, at the time of being born again, as a matter of fact, it is the Holy Spirit who initiates, hallelujah, he initiates our being born again. Nobody could come to the Father except the Holy Spirit draws him or draws her. So at that new birth, the Holy Spirit, for every person who has been born again, who is being born again, the Holy Spirit, that same comforter, that same spirit of truth, indwells. Hallelujah. He lives in such a person. As I said last time also, it doesn't matter when you're up or you're down, whether you have or you do not have. As a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, as a born again child of God, whether you're sick or you're well, the Holy Spirit resides in that person. He's there forever. 
We may not allow him to have his way in our lives, but he is there. Hallelujah. And we should allow the Holy Spirit. We should yield to him as a child of God. Hallelujah. He is our main control. Hallelujah. We should allow him to control our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I want to share some of the other names. Hallelujah. It's a one and the same Holy Spirit. The spirit that, that, that came down upon Jesus Christ at his baptism in the form of a dove, it is the same comforter, the same Holy Spirit, the same spirit of truth, not another spirit. So some names of the comforter. Amen. One of them is the spirit of God. Amen. And you'll find that in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, that says, Know ye not, the Apostle Paul writing to the Corinthians, because we know the, that church there was a, 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 a kind of very carnal church. Amen. And he was saying, asking them the question, Don't you know, let me put it in our own language, Don't you know that you are the temple of God? The believer in Christ, the believers are called the temple of of God, where God dwells by his Holy Spirit. Don't you know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Come on, that same Holy Spirit, that comforter, he dwells in us sometimes. We, 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 don't, we don't know that. We act as though we, we neglect him. Hallelujah. We act as though we don't know. We behave, our behavior, our deportment, our language, our, our dress, our, you name it. We forget who dwells in us. The Spirit of God. Amen. You find that in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Another name is called the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. And you find that in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. This is, this is a prophetic word from, um, spoken by Isaiah referring to Jesus Christ. And the spirit shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. That is who is dwelling in us. The spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. He is dwelling in the believer. That's another name for the comforter. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. Hallelujah. We ought to know who is dwelling in us. Hallelujah. Amen. We also have the Spirit of the Lord God. Not only is he called the Spirit of the Lord, he's also called the Spirit of of the Lord God. We find that in Isaiah 61 and verse 1 that refers, that says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me, etc. Now, Jesus Christ, um, just after his uh, baptism, after his temptation, and he went into the temple and they gave him the book of Isaiah and he opened and read the same these same words where he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to release the captives. Amen. Hallelujah. He, on that day, stood up in the temple when they gave him the book. He turned to this very scripture that was prophesied about him hundreds of years before, and he read that same scripture that the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. The same Spirit, the same Holy Spirit is upon us, the believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, to do what he would have us to do because we cannot do anything for God in our own strength and in our own might and in our own power. We need the Holy Spirit. So Jesus Christ declared the Spirit of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jehovah, Elohim, the creator, the spirit, his spirit indwells us. Amen. Another name, another name for the comforter, hallelujah, is called the spirit of 
the living God. Amen. The spirit of the living God, the God that we serve is alive. He is alive. He's a living God. He's not a dead God. Hallelujah. Some people say that he's dead, but he's not dead. He's alive. If God was dead, this world would collapse because he, he's the one that upholds the world by the word of his power. He has not abandoned the, the, the world, his creation. He has not abandoned it. Amen. So the spirit of the Lord, of the living God. And you find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 3. Go in the word of God. Take these scriptures down. Go in there and see. Get acquainted with the Holy Spirit. Get acquainted with him. Hallelujah. Get acquainted. Do not use him. Let him use you. And let us allow him to use us. Hallelujah. Then we also have another name, hallelujah, by, how, by which the Holy Spirit is called. He's called the Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ, the Anointed One. Christ, the Anointed One, hallelujah. The Spirit of Christ, and we'll find that in Romans 8 and verse 9. The latter part of that verse says, Now if any man... If any man, woman, boy or girl, have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the, the, the Holy Spirit indwells us, marks us as a child of God that we belong. We are sealed. He seals us. He puts a stamp on us. Hallelujah. That we belong to God. It is a mark. It is a sign. It is a symbol. It is a stamp. Hallelujah. It is called at one point the down payment. A down payment uh, to let us know when Christ comes again, we will go with him. Hallelujah. It's just a down payment. Keep that until I come again. He gives us the Holy Spirit until he, so we are sure of a resurrection, to be resurrected if we should die. If we should die before he comes, we will be in the first resurrection. Amen. If any man have not, hallelujah. There are lots of people out there with all kinds of spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you do not have the spirit of Christ, it means you are not born again. When you are born again, the Holy Spirit comes in and dwells. He abides there forever. Jesus says, he shall be with you and in you. He's here forever to be with us forever until Christ comes to take us to live with him forever and forever. If any man, hallelujah, you might be a preacher wherever. You may be doing all kinds of church work, giving communion, taking communion, singing in the choir, preaching the word of God. Do you, may, you might be a bishop, whatever you are, call yourself, amen. If you do not have the spirit of Christ, you are not born again because it is the same spirit that initiates, uh, hallelujah, our being born again. Hallelujah, it is through him as he woos us, as we surrender our life to him. We, he, he gives us that new birth and he takes up residence in our life. Amen. And we become his temple where he dwells. He dwells there and he's there forever. Another name uh, he is the, the spirit of his son. Hallelujah. The spirit of his son. And we find that in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 6. And because ye are sons, God had sent forth the spirit of his son, his son Jesus Christ, into your hearts, Paul is speaking to the Galatians, the Galatians, and he's speaking to us today, those of us who are born again, that God has sent forth the spirit of his son, Jesus Christ, into our hearts that we can cry, Abba, Father, we, are, we can call God. That, it, it, the Holy Spirit testifies in us, telling us that we are sons of God. Hallelujah. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons 
of God and daughters of God and children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. The creator of the ends of the earth. I may not be, a, um, I'm not a daughter of, 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 the, of the president or the prime minister or the queen or the king. Hallelujah. But I am a child of the, the Most High God. Amen. And you out there, if you know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you are a child of the most high God. Amen. Hallelujah. He sent forth the spirit of his son, God's son, who is Jesus Christ, into our hearts that we could cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. We can go to our God and say, Father God, we can pray to him. We can talk to him. Hallelujah. We can have fellowship with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has sent forth the spirit of his son into our hearts. So this, this spirit, the same spirit, hallelujah, the same comforter who, who Jesus called the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, has other names by which he's called according to his function. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's also called in Philippians 1 and 19, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sounds like repetition? No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of his son, the spirit of Christ, and now we have the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Savior, the anointed one. Hallelujah. Philippians 1 and 19. For I know, Paul was in prison, for I know that this, uh, he was speaking about the gospel, some are preaching the gospel uh, for contention, while others are preaching it for the right reason. And Paul was saying, it doesn't matter, as long as the gospel is being preached, as long as the gospel is being preached, the, the gospel has the power. God will use it to bring souls into his kingdom. And he was saying, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation or his deliverance through their prayers, through your prayers and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. What the spirit, what this Holy Spirit, what this, this comforter, hallelujah, the spirit of truth, hallelujah, the spirit of God's son, hallelujah. The spirit of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, will supply. He's in prison, but he will get, he will, he will be comforted. Hallelujah. In spite of being in prison, he will be comforted. In spite of wherever you are, whatever your situation, the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the spirit of truth, the spirit of Christ, the spirit of God's son, hallelujah, the same spirit, one spirit is there for you. Hallelujah, to comfort you, to encourage you, to strengthen you, amen, to supply your need, amen. In Isaiah 4 and 4, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 4, he's called the spirit of burning, hallelujah. He's called the spirit of burning, hallelujah. And, and, and this signifies or emphasizes the purifying, <laughs> the purifying power of the Holy Spirit. The purifying, the burning out the dross from our lives. The pur purging out the sin. You know, when David, <laughs> when David had sinned, he said, purge me with hyssop. He cried out for purging. He wanted no sin in his life. He says, purge me with hyssop. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The spirit of burning, hallelujah, to burn out those things in our lives that are not becoming, hallelujah, to purge, to cleanse, to purify, hallelujah, to, 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 to give illumination, hallelujah, to purge, to burn out the dross, hallelujah, that which is not becoming in our lives. So that same Holy Spirit, that same comforter, hallelujah, he is called the spirit of burning, hallelujah. And that had to do with Israel, speaking about Israel, you can check it out in Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 4, when God is, was restoring, bringing back Israel. You, know, you got to purge out the, the sin, 
purge out sin from our lives, purge out things, iniquity, hallelujah, hallelujah, purge out bitterness, hallelujah, evil speaking, malice, purge and burn those things out from our lives, all those things that are not becoming the Christian life, amen, amen, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. I am so thankful for the, the Holy Spirit living in me, hallelujah, to guide me and to nudge me on, hallelujah, and to cleanse me and to purify my life, hallelujah, amen, to burn out those things that are there that should not be there, amen. And we could, we could allow him and we could disallow him. We could give him access to do what he wants to do or we could deny him access. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, as I was thinking about this, I, I thought of, the, the th it came to me as a, a mother holding a child's hand. And, um, and because the child can walk or, and run a little bit, um, the child would pull, pull away because he wants to be on his own, wants to do his own thing, wants to run on his own, wants to walk on his own because he thinks, uh, well, I'm big enough, he can walk. And so some, some of us as, as believers, we think uh, we are strong enough, uh, I, I'm mature enough, I, I, I could do what I want, and we want to wriggle our hands away from, hallelujah, from the Lord. We, we, we want to do our own thing. We don't want to allow the Holy Spirit to, to do in us what he would, he should, and is able to do. Amen. So that spirit of burning, hallelujah, let us allow the Holy Spirit to purge and to cleanse. Do not hold back. Do not hide anything. Hallelujah. From him, let him every corner search search me oh god and know my thoughts today put on the search light let the holy spirit search our lives hallelujah and whatever he shows up let us allow him to cleanse it from us hallelujah let us endure the process of pruning <laughs> The process of pruning and chipping away, hallelujah, and cutting away, hallelujah. It is, it is not easy. It is, a, it is harsh and hard, but let us allow him to prune and to chip away and burn out those things that should not be in our lives. Another name, he is called the spirit of holiness. He's called the spirit of holiness. Listen, when, before I got saved, now, you know, we have people wearing some very short clothes now and all of that, you know. Um, holiness has nothing to do with, with your with wearing clothes, but not, you're not, um, wearing long clothes doesn't mean you are holy because all kinds of people wear long clothes, amen. But before I got saved, my clothes were very short. That was the style then as a young, young person before I got saved. After I got saved, I didn't want to be looking like that anymore. There must be a change. And don't tell me holiness will also cause you to dress properly. Living a life separated unto God for God's use. For God's use. Living a life of holiness. It doesn't mean long clothes and long sleeves and all of that. But after I got saved, I did not want to look anything like I looked before I got saved. Amen. Hallelujah. So he is also called the spirit of holiness. He will impart God's holiness unto us, allowing us to live a life separated unto God. Amen. The Bible tells us without holiness, no man shall see God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Romans, you'll find that in Romans, part of the scripture we say, and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. He was declared, Jesus Christ declared to be this declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from 
the dead. The spirit of holiness, the Holy Spirit, the comforter is also called the spirit of holiness. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Amen. Then we also have the Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. He was promised. Amen. In Ephesians 1 and 13. Here, the latter part of the verses. Having also believed, speaking to the Ephesians and speaking to us as well. Having also believed, you were sealed <laughs> with the Holy Spirit of promise. We are sealed, brethren. We are sealed. Hallelujah. We belong to God. We belong to God. Hallelujah. We belong to him and he belongs to us. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. He is also called the spirit of life. Romans 8 and 2. For the law of the spirit of life, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me, made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do. The law cannot give us this life. The law points us to sin. Christ came and gave us life and life more abundantly. He's also called the oil of gladness. Hebrews 1 and 9. The oil of gladness. Hallelujah. Joy. It producing the fruit. One of the fruit of the spirit is joy. Hallelujah. Hebrews 1 and 9. You'll find that. He's also called the spirit of grace. Hebrews 10 and 29. Hallelujah. Spirit of grace. He's called also the spirit of glory in 1 Peter 4 and 14. If you are being reproached, hallelujah, for the name of Christ. Happy are you, Peter says, for the spirit. Something, something is on you. That, that, that's that's um, uh, causing them to reproach the name of Christ. It's not really you. It's the glory of Christ that rests on you. Hallelujah, the power of the Holy Spirit in your life that they are trying to reject. So they reproach, they reproach you for the name of Christ. Amen. And last but not least, it's called the eternal spirit. Amen. Chapter, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God, the spirit of Christ the spirit of the son of God, hallelujah. It's the same one and same spirit, the Holy Spirit having several names, but it's not several spirit, amen. He is the third person, hallelujah, of the Godhead. And we ought to get to know him. We ought to fellowship with him, hallelujah, hallelujah. We, should, we must always acknowledge his presence in our lives and ask him to help us to live the kind of life God would have us to live. Amen. Get to know him. Hallelujah. He's the most neglected, misused, abused. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Person, the third person of the, Holy, of, of, the, of the Godhead. Amen. He is in us, and he's there forever. Amen. I trust that these... These, this, these, these few words would have ministered to you. And as you go through the word of God, let the Holy Spirit guide and lead and direct your life for the honor and glory of God. God bless you until we meet again on TIN for the message of hope. Amen. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.